Matra was founded in France at the beginning of the Second World War to operate in the aviation and defense sectors and then moved into the aerospace and transportation fields after a war. A key figure for Matra was engineer Luc Lagardier, who was chosen in 1962 by founders Marcel Chassagny and Sylvian Floriet as the company's chief executive officer. With his help, new fields were explored, diversifying its activities in automation, telecommunications, information technology, urban transportation, and cars. Lagardier, in addition to being talented, was passionate about moto sports and arranged for Matra to acquire Rene Bonnet Automobiles, which had just created the Jet, a compact sports car with a fiberglass body equipped with a Renault engine, which took the highly respected Matra name. The aerospace company's entry into automotive market was facilitated by a fortunate coincidence, the first Russian astronaut, the famous Yuri Gagarin, while visiting the Matra factories, discovered the small car and fell in love with it. There was no hesitation. A photograph next to the car and a special gift for him. That was great publicity for the Matra brand. The peak of popularity for Matra came shortly thereafter in mid-60s. It began building single-seaters for Formula 2 and 3 until winning the world championship in 69 with Jackie Stewart. The aircraft factory style was reflected in the single-seaters and the France Blue dominated the tracks even though the engine was English Cosworth, which turned out to be rather false touch overall. For the French, who know how to value their technology and their achievements, this was not enough. A victory in the 24 hours of Le Mans with an all-French car was necessary. With the support of the Gitan cigarette budget and the president of the Republic de Gaulle himself, Matra designed and built magnificent V12 engine that took the victory three years in a row from 72 to 74. The same engine was used by Guy Ligier for his Formula One team. Matra was used on the road and for racing competitions. The approach was consistently innovative with the use of composite materials and fiberglass. M530 was memorable later on, in collaboration with Simca Group and Talbot Peugeot, the Bagheera, Rancho, and Murina were born. They were all out of the box and original. The automobile remained a marginal sector for the company which had one last memorable spurt with revolutionary Renault eSpace. The marginality of profits and the difficulties in making the increasingly in-demand overall quality consistent with unconventional cars made the conditions for new projects insufficient. The last of these, namely that of the charming of Antime, was unsuccessful and so the Matra myth ended with the breakup of the company in 2003. What will never vanish is the memory of the brand that had the merit of always being different from everyone else. Thank you for the attention and have a nice day.